Glucose is a six carbon molecule. In the process of glycolysis, we split it in half into two three carbon molecules, two pyruvates. Only two of the carbons from pyruvate are actually going to enter the citric acid cycle. So before we can get these into the citric acid cycle, we first need to kick off one of these carbons as CO2. That takes us from pyruvate to acetyl-CoA. Now we've got two carbons and we've got four carbons. And these four carbons are oxaloacetate. What we're gonna do is we're gonna combine them to make citrate. Now we're gonna go around the cycle and we're going to get rid of two carbons, as two more carbon dioxides, and regenerate a four carbon oxaloacetate that we can use to keep the cycle going. We are not going to lose the carbons from the glucose from the acetyl-CoA in this first time around. So we are going to lose two carbons, but we're going to lose carbons that were there already. So we're losing the carbons that were part of the oxaloacetate and not the carbons that were part of the glucose. So we go around, we lose two carbons, two CO2s, but those are coming from the oxaloacetate. And actually you end up with, when you get to succinate, now you're gonna end up with a symmetrical molecule and you can't tell top from bottom. And so what can happen is that you have a 50-50 chance of the next turn around the cycle doing one or the other. But now you're gonna basically back to the top and now you've got this four carbon molecule. You've got an oxaloacetate. So what you can do is you can come and you can bring in another pyruvate to acetyl-CoA and put that onto the oxaloacetate and go around the cycle. But now imagine that you want to make glucose. So you want to take this oxaloacetate and use it to make glucose. Well, you can't take oxaloacetate out of the mitochondria, but you can take malate. So if we transform this to malate, now what we can do is take this out of the cycle and go use it to make glucose. But now if we want to bring in this acetyl-CoA from this other glucose, we can't. And so this is the idea behind anaplyrotic reactions, which are reactions that add in pathway intermediates so that you would be able to keep the cycle going. If you add the carbons in at any of these points, what's going to happen is that then you're able to regenerate that oxaloacetate that you need. But if you take out any of these products, then you won't have the M&Ms there to be able to add in the new M&Ms. So we have anaplerotic reactions, which regenerate the pathway intermediates by giving you those things that you need. One of these examples is pyruvate to pyruvate carboxylase to make oxaloacetate. But acetyl-CoA, we don't have a way to stick two acetyl-CoAs together in order to get into the pathway. We need to have oxaloacetate present already.